Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're going to talk about Olight, and we're going to talk about the Seeker flashlights. Starting off with the R50 Pro Seeker. This is an old flashlight. Works absolutely fantastic. That was a really good light. Then they came out with the Seeker 2 Pro, which was fantastic. This was a much better uh, version of the R50 Pro Seeker. And then, of course, they came out with the Seeker 3 Pro. They just kept innovating and kept making good products even better. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the newest generation of the Seeker, which is the Olight Seeker 4 Pro. A powerful flashlight with a multifunctional holster. This has a throw of 260 meters and a maximum brightness of 4600 lumens. I want to say thank you to Olight for sending this Seeker 4 Pro out for review so that I can share it with you guys. Now, on the back of the packaging, feel free to hit your pause button if you want to read any of this information or take a look at those specifications. And then of course down on the bottom of the package you can see there is some contact information for Olight. Now let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. I'm so excited to share this Seeker 4 Pro with you. So the packaging is just like the packaging in the past. It says thank you for being a part of our Olight family. Your support is why we do this. Enjoy Olight team. The next thing that we see is this yellow card, which is very common on old light flashlights. It's telling us to take the insulation film out, charge the light, and it's also showing us a couple ways to um, unlock the light. So very nice that they do that. Pull that out of the way, and you can see the flashlight itself comes packaged very well. Right here, there is a mounting dock bracket type thing. We'll take that foam insert out, and then right in here, there is some more information. So this will be like our owner's manual and stuff like that. So the first thing that we see here is a couple screws, and then there's a couple little plastic inserts. And that's so if you want to mount this dock or this bracket to a drywall, you can use the 3M double-sided tape. This will all make sense here in a second. So you have two screw holes here, or you can tape it to the surface. Again, you got the little plastic uh, pieces here, so you drill a hole in your drywall, stick that plastic piece in, and then it gives you something to run the screw into for this, uh, this bracket here that holds the light. So I think that's pretty cool. The next thing that we see, let's go ahead and just pull all that stuff out. Nothing left in there. So the next thing that we see is a USB charging cable. So you got USB-C to USB-A. That is your charging cable. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we also have some safety warnings and we have our user manual. So that's what comes with the flashlight. And let's get to the main product right here. That is the Seeker 4 Pro flashlight with the holster. So the first thing is this holster is awesome. I love this plastic. It reminds me of a Mora companion sheath. It's got that same kind of plasticky feel right on the bottom. The light fits in there very easily, very snug. And when you get down to the bottom of the holster, look at that. It sucks the flashlight in. There's a magnet here and it sucks it in. Now you might be wondering why is that? That's because the USB-C charging port right here is on the holster. So the holster itself is actually a charger for the Seeker 4 Pro. That is absolutely fantastic. So coming back to this piece, what this does is this mounts on the wall or a board and you can just set your flashlight right there. You can set your flashlight right there in that bracket and then when you're ready to go, you can take it off very easily. And this can stay stationary on whatever wall or whatever. 
and you have a nice place where you can you can put your flashlight to house it so again it just goes on and off real easy and that's what that brackets for now let's go ahead and before we charge this light we got to take off the insulation film so we're going to take off the tail cap charging portion here we will pull out this insulation film and while we're in here we're going to take a look at this customized battery this is 21700 5000 milliamp hour there is the positive there's the negative it's a very basic battery same battery that they use on the majority of their flashlights the battery tube here is very thick the threads are lubricated very nice I love the rubber feature here this is a beautiful flashlight when we put the tail cap on it will go over that o-ring and it'll create the IPX8 waterproof standard and that's just fantastic so now let's go ahead and charge this light so we're gonna bring in the Olight O station we will turn on the USB power we're gonna put the USB right here and then we're gonna plug this into the holster itself and now the holster turns into a charger so when we put the light in the holster take a look at that you see those green indicators hopefully you can see that that is the light charging right now so super cool that we can use the holster not only as a cool holster but now it serves a second purpose as a charger that is super innovative I'm gonna go ahead and get this light charged and then we'll take a look at the light and more of its features and right now you can see that all four of those indicators are illuminated green that is telling us that charging is complete and we can now pull the light out of the holster and discard the holster temporarily and we'll take a closer look at this light this is a well-built little flashlight I like the way that it looks I mean it's it's just really nice I love the grips they are fantastic and I like the changes that they made here on the switch it's got a lot more traction to it the lens has four LEDs in there nice strike bezel and operating this light is extremely simple now I want to take a brief moment and talk about the lockout function real quick uh, because there's some really new innovative features in the lockout mode that this light has so the first one is when you turn the light off which we are right now and you push the button it will lock itself out after 10 seconds of inactivity so that is very cool now to unlock the light there is two ways of doing it one is you can just push and hold until the light turns on and the other way is if the light is locked out you can turn this dial 90 degrees and that will also unlock the light and you can turn it on now another cool feature that I really like about this light is any time that you put it in the holster the light automatically locks itself out when you put it in the holster so when I push the button here you can see that it's automatically locked out I think that feature is super super cool again two ways to unlock it rotate the dial a couple turns and then turn the light on or again long press and get to that moonlight mode now this moonlight mode is five lumens and this will last 15 days it puts out nine meters of throw and 21 on the candela now if you want to cycle through the modes you can push and hold you'll bump up to low this is 50 lumens for 60 hours that's two and a half days you get 25 meters of throw 164 on the candela push and hold a little more you'll go up to that medium setting which is a really nice setting 300 lumens for 11 hours of runtime that's 65 meters of throw and a thousand forty four on the candela now if you push and hold again you will get up to high now this is 1200 lumens this is no joke this will last for 135 minutes that's two and a quarter hours and it gives you hundred and thirty meters of throw this is just absolutely fantastic four thousand two hundred and twenty five candela now after that two and a quarter hours of runtime it will step down to 600 lumens and it will continue to be lit up for 35 more minutes 
After 35 minutes, it'll step down again to 300 lumens for an additional 10 minutes. So that is just absolutely fantastic. Now, if I double press, we will get to turbo. This is 4,600 lumens for two and a half minutes. Uh, that'll give you 260 meters of throw, 16,895 candela. And then again, after two and a half minutes, it will step down to prevent overheating of the light. It'll go down to 1,200 lumens, so basically down to high, and it'll stay there for 122 minutes. That's 2.03 hours of runtime. Then it'll step down once again to 600 lumens for an additional 35 minutes so that is fantastic now anytime the light is on and you want strobe it is simple it's just a triple press and you will get that strobe now the manual does not specify what the run times lumens and all that is on the strobe a single press from the strobe turns the light off and then another single press turns the light on to the previously used mode prior to turbo or strobe. So it will remember low, medium, and high. So I think that is absolutely fantastic. Now just like the Seeker 2 Pro and the Seeker 3 Pro, on the Seeker 4 Pro you have a couple indicators here, and they're a little bit harder to see with the camera, but on the right, um, let me turn it off again, you have four different indicators, 25, 50, 75, and 100% of the battery. And then on the left, you have indicators that tell you the brightness level. So as you turn the dial down, you can see the brightness level is going down and, and all the way down to the bottom. And then when you go all the way up to high, you'll get that third indicator. And then the only time you'll see that fourth indicator on the left is when you double press and get to turbo. So the light is absolutely fantastic. Another function that it has is it does have a three minute and a nine minute automatic shutoff. So what you'll do here is you'll push twice and hold. You saw two acknowledgement flashes. That means nine minutes and the light will automatically shut off. And then if I push, push and hold again, you see one acknowledgement flash. That is a three minute timer and it will shut off automatically after three minutes. So the light has a ton of features to it that I really like. Now the dimensions of the light is 133 millimeters long. That's 5.24 inches. The head diameter is 35 millimeters or 1.38 inches. The light with the battery weighs 208 grams. That is 7.23 ounces. And again, that's including that 5,000 milliamp hour lithium ion rechargeable battery. This light is IPX8 waterproof down to two meters and it's also impact resistant. I just really like this Seeker 4 Pro. What I want to look at right now is the pocket clips. Uh, will they fit? So I took it off the Seeker 2 Pro and it fits absolutely perfect. So the pocket clip is, is going to fit on the Seeker 4 Pro, Seeker 3 Pro, as well as the Seeker 2 Pro. Now they don't come with the pocket clips. That is something that you will have to buy aftermarket. Uh, they do come from Olight, of course, but I think it's just wonderful. If you compare the uh, Seeker 4 Pro to the Seeker 3 Pro, and you look at the head of the light, you'll see that they've made the heat dissipation just a tiny bit more. They've cut a little bit of weight off of that area, and this dial is a much, much better improvement over what the Seeker 3 Pro dial had. They did remove the proximity sensor off of the Seeker 4 Pro, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. I think it's a wonderful light, and I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. Okay, let's go ahead and pour some water in this little bucket, and we are going to test the IPX8 waterproof rating. So we'll turn the light on. Let's just go on up to that setting there, and we'll drop it in the bucket of water. And as you can see, the light is still working. We're just going to slosh it around a little bit. And of course, we'll pull the light out, and we'll cycle through the modes. Right now we're on low. There's medium, there's high, low, medium, high. Let's go for turbo and that works and let's triple press for strobe that works single press turns it off single press comes back to high and then again you can cycle through the modes and I like that you can cycle through the modes by holding the button or by 
dialing the button it gives you like a ramping feature when you use the dial so it gives you pretty much anywhere along the spectrum you can stop the light I, I just absolutely love what they've done with this brand new Seeker 4 Pro the indicators are very nice to see they work really well you can see in real time the status of your battery as well as what brightness level you're on so it clearly passes the IPX8 waterproof testing with flying colors okay right now we are looking at five lumens this is moonlight mode and on this setting it will last for 15 days of runtime that is a lot of light and a fantastic runtime looking off in the distance you can even see what's going on down there and I'm just really enjoying this light let's go up to low this is 50 lumens for 60 hours that's two and a half days nice floody beam let's go up to medium I love that setting 300 lumens for 11 hours of runtime this is like the perfect setting for around camp and stuff like that 65 meters of throw push and hold we're gonna go up to high 1200 lumens 135 minutes uh, that's two and a quarter hours 130 meters of throw and remember it steps down twice so you get more than two and a quarter hours by the time it's all said and done you're well over three hours of runtime on this setting double press now we're looking at turbo this is 4600 lumens 2.5 minutes uh, 260 meters of throw and then it steps down to 1200 lumens for another 2.03 hours and then it steps down to 600 lumens for an additional 35 minutes now let's triple press and take a look at that strobe there is the strobe of the seeker 4 pro i think this is very disorienting nice strobe it does an effective job single press it turns off and then another single press brings us right back to high and uh, this is absolutely fantastic 1200 lumens i like this light and hopefully you enjoyed those night shots okay we've got the seeker 3 pro on the left and the seeker 4 pro on the right we're gonna go to moonlight mode i like what they did with the seeker 4 the moonlight mode can get you out of lockout on the seeker 3 pro you have to turn the dial to unlock the light so both of them are on moonlight mode and as you can see the seeker 4 is a little brighter let's go up to low there's low on both lights here's medium here's medium let's go to high there's high double press for turbo double press for turbo those are the differences in the night shots and let's push and hold both of them they both come down to low turn off long press back to moonlight mode and if you look at the power level indicators and stuff like that on these lights they are very easy to read I like what they've done on the brand new Seeker 4 Pro very very nice very cool turn them off or cycle up turn them off watching those indicators Seeker 4 indicator stays on just a little bit longer very easy to read I like that they stay on a little bit longer very cool so my final thoughts on the brand new Olight Seeker 4 Pro it is absolutely fantastic I loved all the previous Seekers and this one it's like they just keep getting better and better and brighter and just the functions the it is just absolutely fantastic so I want to take a brief moment and talk to you about the dates and times and some really cool offerings for O Fan Day 2023 now O Fan Day 2023 will kick off on Tuesday September 19th at 8 o'clock Eastern Time and it'll run all the way till Saturday September 23rd at 2359 Eastern Time flashlights that are purchased starting on September 16th which is Saturday 2023 moving forward into the future to commemorate OFAN day will receive 
a lifetime warranty on those flashlights. I think that's absolutely wonderful. Now, early access for OFAN Day will begin on Sunday, September 17th, 2023 at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So if you're interested in anything to do with OFAN Day or Olight, I will put the link in the description box down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to thumb up this video and share this video and leave comments down below. And if you want to purchase anything Olight, using the affiliate link will save you a little money and it also helps me out. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. We'll see you at OFAN Day. Bye. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video, taking a look at the Olight Seeker 4 Pro. If you're interested in the light, I will put a link in the description box down below where you can find it. Again, I just love this holster. It is sturdy plastic and the fact that you can charge on the holster is just wonderful. And it's not adding much weight to the holster, so the holster is still very light. They've really hit a home run on this light in my opinion. So with all that being said folks, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.